Uh, obviously, any concerns with, with weather in here this weekend? I mean, is there something that you prepare for given the forecast? Uh, any changes in that regard? Uh, we worked several things today in that regard. Wet balls, most of practice, stuff like that. But it'll be the same for both teams. And, you know, those are interesting games and see how your players handle them. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. You, you play the game. Do you, um, you get, unfortunately, you guys over the years have, have gotten used to a few, a few of those circumstances, whether it was Illinois last year, this year with Florida State. Wyoming. Wyoming. You guys seem to, if anything, your guys should be prepared for, for anything that might come their way in terms of weather delays if there are anything on Saturday. I would hope so. The older guys especially have been through it, and some of the new guys, it will be a little bit of a new experience for them. But, you know, hopefully because the older guys have been through it, it's somewhat of an ability to be a settling, calming thing for them and our guys have always managed those things pretty well and I'm proud of them for that and the coaches have done a great job of helping them uh, get through those things and, and handle it well. Um, so what are some things that um, common fans who don't play football like won't necessarily recognize in a game that is full of water or the wind stuff like that like what are some keys that are you know people may not recognize that you guys have to deal with? Well both teams are shotgun snap teams and uh, you know that could get interesting that will be something they can see obviously but <clears throat> the quarterback just handling the ball clean the handoffs being handled clean um, you know I've done this long enough I've seen guys couldn't function very well on game day and then I, I had a back one time it was it was raining so hard when the referee sent the ball down between plays it floated off the field there was so much water on the field but he ran for 200 and some yards. Didn't affect him. You know, it was like he was playing on a dry field and everybody else was playing on a wet field. So some players really manage it pretty well and don't let it be a big deal. And some players, it, it can be. And uh, the ability to cut, the speed of making cuts changes completely. Of course, the ability to throw the ball uh, can be impacted pretty good. And so I, I've, I've been in part of a game where nine straight plays were fumbles. Some of them lost back and forth and some of them just fumbles. Uh, that was the same night that the guy rushed for so many yards. It's raining pretty hard when the ref sets the ball down and it floats off the field. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. You, get, you just have to work through it. Do you remember who you're playing and, and what team you're coaching? Southwestern College versus Sterling, Tommy Calvin. He had about 250, I think, that night. Gotcha. Tommy couldn't run 4'7", but on that night he was 4'7". <laughs>